Good evening, friends. Listen, there are several economists who are predicting a very serious financial collapse coming in the fall of this year. Now, I am not an economist, but I can tell you that I have been more than faithful to let people know that there are things you can do to ward off this fear-mongering that's going on out there. And the first thing we can do is to go to prayer and ask the Lord to help us to come up with a plan, especially if you have taken, you've taken no action up until this point. Now, just a few days ago, I spoke of the student loan forgiveness program that actually is not that much relief at all when you look at the looming cost for college here in the USA. But having said that, going before the Lord is always the best plan. Cast all of your burdens on him because he's the only one who can sincerely guide us. Jesus knows the future. But do not feed into the fear of the news outlets. They are definitely reading scripts that are written by the globalist. And they just put it right in front of them on that teleprompter because they want to control us by fear. I want to encourage you, if you have not already started, prepare a food pantry now. And I have given several ways to steer people in the right direction. And it really boils down to your willingness to take action. And I don't want to see anybody who follows this channel in a storm of confusion at the grocery store trying to get canned foods and basic necessities, maybe diapers. Even, you know, when this economic uh, collapse grows even more serious. And one of my brothers in Christ, he's also an end time messenger. He was sitting at our kitchen table today talking to Seho and I. And he said the very same thing to me. He has been faithful in warning people. And it's going to be very sad to see that the warnings have gone out. But people are in denial of this situation. So please take action. Uh, I want to let you know, I went to get some produce this past weekend at the Food City, a bag of green beans, and it was $6.99, $6.99 for a bag of green beans that wouldn't take you very far. And you can spend maybe $2 for an envelope of seeds, green bean seeds, get a 12-inch pot, and uh, pop a few seeds in, in a couple pots and put it near a sunny window or right outside your door. And do you know the more green beans you pick from the plant, the more the plant produces? That's what we do right here at our apartment. We just pick them off and then we put them in the freezer in a bag. And, you know, that's a great way to get some food uh, stored up quickly. The food prices really are insane and they're only going to get worse. So I want to encourage you, <coughs> learn to container garden at least three or four things this year. Learn how to bake bread. Uh, get a grow light if you don't have um, an area you can put some potted plants out or if you can't grow out in your yard, get a grow light. A lot of these grow lights do come from China though. So, you know, when China says no more uh, exporting and you haven't gotten your grow light, uh, I'm not, you know, I'm going to be very sad for you. Again, I'm just on here and I'm warning and I'm praying that people will take initiative. I care about you guys. I really do. I care about, I care about my countrymen and I'm so sad to see this new world order planned economic crisis unfolding. So prayers are going up for all of us and everybody take care and I'll talk to you again real soon. Good night.